All right, guys, I know you've been waiting for some more F-150 content, been just a minute, so we're gonna show you what we're doing with the uh, new USA Made Well Drag Packs. We started out with these uh, Laguna 6 wheels, which are really nice. This is Weld's uh, inexpensive series that they make, uh, their flow form series versus the USA Made wheels. Uh, we started out with these, but we really wanted to do a set of the nice USA Made ones. So we got a setup of this S81 HD, super, super, super sharp. Um, now the difference here is with these wheels, uh, they, you don't get quite the spoke clearance like you do with the Lagunas. And we've got that bare big brake kit on the front, so we do need some spacers. We had a 12 millimeter spacer in there. It was just a little tight. You had about 40 thousandths of clearance. Bear says you want to have bare minimum 60. They like to see 100. So our friends at Motorsport Tech made us a set of spacers. And we just had to make them in 14 millimeter instead of 12. So kind of a custom size because we wanted a minimal spacer as possible. We may end up doing some extended lugs, uh, some extended lugs on the front. We're going to see how many threads we, we got to grip. Um, I know you want to have at least seven. So that's our goal today. One of, the, one of the things we like to use when we're using spacers is they, they call these the ET lugs. If you'll notice on the bottom, they have some extra grip on the uh, thread. Phil's over there working hard, taking these wheels off. But that gives you some extra clearance. It lets you get, you know, you're gonna get probably uh, three more threads than you would normally get by using these lugs, which when you're using a spacer is just really, really nice. So when you look by the measurement, this is gonna give you, I'd say you get right at about a quarter inch of extra grip, which is gonna give you several more threads Again, anytime you're using a spacer, these ET lugs are really nice just to make up for, if you use at least a quarter inch spacer to make up for what you've used on the, uh, what you've lost on the studs. If you watched the last video, then you saw we had a real tight clearance on these big uh, bear, this big bear brake kit on the F-150. And some people were asking me about that. I guess there's been some issues with some people with the big brake kits. In my opinion, there is no issue uh, with these. Ford made a change uh, with the brake box and bear is adjusted for that. So you should be able to add these big brake kits from your 21, 22, and 2023 F-150. And as long as you go through the factory bleed procedure, you shouldn't have any issues. I know some of y'all are checking out the Vikings. They look pretty sweet with this uh, VAS-35 kit that we offer. Uh, we did the Viking Berserkers, the uh, triple adjustables. Really, really nice. If you look here, we've got our caliper in here. Now it's set at 90 thou and we still got a little bit more clearance. So we definitely got 100 thou in here. I got 90, I got 90 on this right now, 24, 23, 22, and 21. And we still got, you know, clearance here. We're not touching, uh, just like always. So I think we're gonna be in uh, very good shape. All right, so we got the new S81 drag pack on. Again, 14 millimeter spacer on the front to clear the big brakes. If you don't have the big brakes, you won't need the spacer. Uh, but again, we got plenty of thread engagement. I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, I like having the dish. It's nice to get a little bit of a dish that you get with the uh, USA made version of these wheels. Tuck's really nice, still looks good. We went with a 235 55 20 tire on the front. And then on the rear, we have a 315 55 17 Street R. So it looks really good. Now, the nice thing is uh, we wanted to have a balance for street duty as well because we don't always uh, drive on the drag packs. So we matched it up. We had our friends at Weld send us a set of 20 by 10s for the rear as well. And with those, we've just got a standard street tire, like a 285. But that way, when we're not driving all the time, I mean, we do get rain. We do daily drive these things uh, when you come in. You guys can peep the S650 in the background. Um, you know, when we're driving around in rain or long distances, we'll pull the drag radials off. But super pleased with how this truck has turned out. Uh, we are going to get it to the track. We have ran, we went out one time. We only got one clean hit. Tires were spinning. We went 1101, uh, 128 mile an hour. That was with a 1.6060 foot. That was on a second gear lead with the centrifugal supercharger on this. But this truck is just bang, and I love this thing. It looks great. You know, all the painted to match parts. Super, super. Alpha X headlights, Morimoto taillights. Uh, this thing looks good. We did have on the uh, US, uh, the overseas, the Laguna wheels, we did have the um, 
we did have the 315.50. I opted for the 315.55. I just thought that would tuck and make it look a little bit better on the truck. And then we matched a front tire to the height. I went with the 20 by sevens on the front. The trucks are heavier, so you're carrying a lot of weight. Um, big brake kit. I think the 20 by seven is a very happy balance of cutting some weight, taking some of the sway out uh, when you're drag racing, but looking really nice. But super pleased with this. Cervini's four inch cow hood. And again, you know, you guys have seen the interior for those if this is your first time. We did the uh, Corbo seats on this thing, a Ford center console. Uh, interior is just banging. We did the big screen on it. About the only thing left I really want to do, I'd like to do a power sliding window on the rear uh, just so you can get that, rid of that reverberation when you're driving the truck down the road and you got like one window cracked. It'd be nice to uh, pop that open. But again, anything you need, F-150, Mustang, Camaro, Hemi, your trucks. Uh, you know, we specialize in the USA stuff here, Beefcake Racing. The Malfrex headlights look pretty badass when you open them up. So anything you need, beefcakeracing.com. Hit us up. You can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you need, 855-TBR-RACE.